And as Ellie found out earlier tonight, the Royal Society's LIGO scientific collaboration has been exploring one of the biggest discoveries in recent times. It may not look like it, but what we're doing here is actually playing with space-time. Emma, can you explain what's actually going on here? Sure. So just over 100 years ago, Einstein predicted that gravitational waves exist, and they are ripples in the fabric of space-time that travel outwards at the speed of light, stretching and squeezing both space and time. So if nice. you pick up your black hole... OK, I've got my black hole. And we spin them round. OK. You right. can see we get these ripples that actually form in the space-time itself. Okay, so these ripples are actually gravitational waves that Einstein predicted. And a couple of years ago, we proved that theory. How did we do that, Peter? Uh, we, we use a network of gravitational wave detectors. So the real detectors are four kilometres long, so obviously we couldn't bring that here today. So we've got a scaled-down version here. And essentially, they're L-shaped uh, detectors. We fire laser light down each of the arms. They, it recombines, and then because light is a wave, uh, we can then add up or subtract the wave. So if we filter out all the background motion, if a gravitational wave passes through, we can measure these really small uh, uh, variations in space, the stretching and bending of, st of space. So these machines are going to enable us to use gravity to map the entirety of the universe. Very nifty. Thank you very much.